Hey there friends, sometimes the dots just connect themselves or else the imbecilic people out there in charge of either covering up or doing their job create enough of a gray area where independent people start checking into the things that they can't seem to answer or explain away. There's an organization called the Oversight Project which is affiliated with Heritage that started trickling out some information yesterday, and it's pretty interesting. If you go to their X page, you will find we found the assassin's connections through our in-depth analysis of mobile ad data to track movements of crooks and his associates. Very important that we include and his associates, right? To do this, we track devices that regularly visited both crooks' home and place of work, and we followed them. Now, I didn't want to get too far into the weeds and clog up this video, but I wanted you guys to understand what Ad ID actually is and how it can actually be tracked. I went to a website called Marketing Dive Ad ID, 10 Things You Need to Know. Now, oddly enough, this is a mandated tracking process that mobile phones use. Now, you can turn this off just so you guys know. It's a universal identifier developed by the American Associative Association of Advertising and the Association of National Advertising to help track how many times a specified ad appears across TV, radio, and digital platforms. The use of the identifier is to ensure performers are compensated each time the ad appears, but ad ID can be utilized for more than that. Now that more than that is really important because the transfer of ads to and from being seen, being sent to a device, they know when that device, that, that ad goes to a device. It's not like if a commercial runs on a television, that's not a smart TV, I'm just talking about like say, cable television. If an ad runs on your TV, it's not necessarily tracked like a device is. A device has its unique identification, and when that ad goes to that particular device, it's recorded on that device as we saw this ad. It's also recording where that device uh, well, excuse me, was whenever that ad went to it. Going down to the bottom of the page to number five, when they're talking about the 10 things you need to know, number five, ad ID is easily accessible. Although security measures are in place, third parties can easily access ad ID data with permission and authorization from the agency or advertiser. They've done that. Th this group did that, and they did a remarkable job of this. What they did is they took all of the devices and they recorded up to nine devices that they narrowed it down to that had visited Crooks' house and his place of work, right? They're taking those two as kind of a common denominator, if you will. Now, they're not saying that all nine of these devices are Crooks. I want you to understand that. That's not what they're stating. They're stating that all nine of these devices did, in fact, go to Crooks' house multiple times and his work, right? So that's how they've created that common denominator. And to kind of validate what they're talking about, clearly one of these devices, at least one of them, seems to have been Crooks' phone because they capture him going to the Allegheny Arms and Gunworks place on August 30th of 2023. So last year they have him at this location or they have a device that visited his home and his place of work. They also show on July 4th and July 8th that a device who visited his home and his work went from Bethel Park, Pennsylvania to Butler, Pennsylvania. Again, look at the dates, July 4th and July 8th. They have found that so far. They also have some other travel data that's a little bit interesting because I haven't heard of crooks going to these places. So maybe this is someone who visited him. And I'm going to go find out where these places are that he went to. But he went to Plymouth, Massachusetts via a flight from Pittsburgh to Boston. Again, all these little blue circles that you see, that's where the phone of somebody who went to Crooks' house also visited. Again, I'll come back in a later video and decipher where these circles were, but the one I'm about to show you is very important. That's why we're skipping to it. Note the two blue circles to the middle of the page to the right. That's where Crooks or somebody who'd been to his house and had been to his work was. This is downtown Washington, D.C. Now, when I go to look at where these circles are, you'll see on this 3D map from Google Maps where this was. It's across the street from a hockey arena. 
Looks like a pretty hip place to be in downtown Washington, D.C. Not much to see here, just a little bar. Maybe somebody went to get a drink, smoke a cigar, and visit with some friends, right? I took a deeper look, and I want you to see when I pull out on this 3D map, I want you to see something. Note the hockey arena and the place that Crooks visited up towards the upper right-hand corner of this picture. I want your eyes to look at the kind of odd trapezoid looking picture down at the bottom left. A little bit closer look shows me that 1400 feet away from where Crooks was as a crow flies, that this is the Federal Bureau of Investigation. Now, just to put that measurement 1400 feet into perspective, that's the distance. <laughs> I'm not saying shots were fired here. That's the distance away that one of the shots was fired during the Trump assassination, one of the later shots, right? So you understand, as we've looked at all those pictures there, this is roughly that same distance away. Not that that means anything. I'm just trying to put in perspective the distance that we're talking about right here. So we are, in fact, talking about the Federal Bureau of Investigation's office right here. And note right across the street from the FBI building, that would be the U.S. Department of Justice. The DOJ and the FBI were a mere 466 yards from where a phone that had been to Crooks' office, Crooks' house, had visited. Why would a dietitian in Pennsylvania or an associate or friend of a dietitian in Pennsylvania be visiting downtown Washington, D.C., 400 yards from the FBI building and the Department of Justice. They can find out whose phone that was. And if and when they find out it was Crooks' phone, I wonder who's going to have some questions to answer. I wonder who's going to be the magical friend that will suddenly appear that Crooks was visiting 400 yards from the FBI building and the DOJ building. Remember, also, Cheadle said several times yesterday as she ducked and dodged and lied about things, she had information, but she referred everybody to the FBI. 400 yards from where a phone that had been to Crooks' house, somebody visited. As an unrelated or possibly related note, this information started coming out yesterday really trickling out during the day, started putting all these pieces together. Guess who resigned today? Secret Service Director Kim Cheadle has resigned as of this morning. Guys, please like, subscribe. Make sure you're subscribed because YouTube is taking my subscribers away, especially with the popularity of these videos. Share these videos, like these videos, and comment down below what the heck you think is going on. God save the queen, man. I'm sorry, I thought this was America.